the owner of the winter pasture called me and said that I have a calf that's in trouble. I give this calf about a 1%, if that, chance of survival. I, I have to try. I wouldn't, wouldn't feel right if I didn't at least try. So we're gonna throw everything we can at him. And if he doesn't make it, then at least we know we gave it our best. Once I turned the light on him, something about the way the light hits him, I guess, but I could really see that his breathing has steadied out and it's a little more rapid, not in a bad way. But before, when I was looking at his breathing, it was very spaced out and sort of labored. And I would say that now uh, there, he doesn't seem to be struggling to breathe and it's more of a, a steady, regular pace like it should be. So. That's a good sign, but I'm still not getting my hopes up too much. But we gotta try, we always gotta try. So we'll leave him for a little while. I'll come back and bring him a bottle in a little bit. It's been a couple of hours since I tried to feed that calf. So uh, we're gonna go check on him again and see if he'll take a little bit more. Belly feels good and full. I don't, I just don't feel like this calf was going without nursing. I think something else happened to it. I just don't know what. Can you take some of that? Petting the calf, it always, you know, feels like we're doing something nice for them when you do that. But I've always thought that there is some sort of therapeutic value for them as well. Because if you look at what a mother in a new calf does, the mother will sit there and lick the calf. And I think that that helps stimulate blood flow and, and it probably is comforting for the calf as well. So, um... So yeah, I'd do it. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't do anything. Oh, wow. You're going to stand up. That would be pretty amazing if he did that. He's actually holding his head up on his own power. That's uh, it's an improvement. I still, I feel like I'm grasping it at very small victories here. Your head's awful swollen. So you probably can see that there is a, a fair amount of milk running out of the bottle, but I can hear him swallowing. He's definitely getting some, and he don't really seem to want any more. I think that's about the best we can do for him tonight. Um, I'll just have to get out here bright and early with a bottle tomorrow morning, and hopefully he'll still be alive. and. We just keep doing this until he gets better or gets worse. It's the next morning now. I think it's probably around 30 degrees. So it's not insanely cold. I don't even think we got a frost last night. But if you're a, a new calf struggling to survive, it probably feels pretty cold. So I haven't checked on him yet this morning. I'm hoping that he's still alive, but let's open the door and see. He moved. He's definitely not where we left him. And I don't know if he would have gotten up and moved over there or if he was, you know, thrashing around or whatever. But I'd say he looks actually quite a bit better this morning. That's how you're supposed to do it. I'll get the front end. 
All right, well that seems to be about all he wants to take right now. So I think I'll go eat my breakfast and go around and feed everyone, do all my morning chores, and we'll probably try to feed him again. Normally with a bottle calf, you wouldn't have to feed it so often, but because I know that this one is not getting probably as much as it needs, um, I'm just trying to feed him more often to try to get him to consume a little bit more. I've noticed when I start giving him the bottle, he nurses pretty vigorously and gets a fair amount. He probably gets like 80% of everything that he takes, you know, within the first couple of minutes. And then he kind of slows down. I don't know if he gets full or gets tired or what. I still don't have a lot of hope for this guy, but he did do a couple of things to give me some hope this morning, like holding his head up, standing on his own, and actually, even though I had to help him stand up, um, but he sort of initiated that. You could tell that he wanted to. We'll just keep trying, see what happens. It's been a few hours since the last feeding, so let's peek in here and we'll see how this little one's doing. Hey, little one, how you feeling? He's laying upright and heads up, so that's a it's a better sign, I guess. You feel like eating? Well, as per usual, this guy has given me, uh, he's given me reasons to hope and he's given me reasons to give up. Um, he, he was able to stand on his own four legs there for a minute. When I walked in there, he was holding his head up. These, these are things he was not able to do yesterday, so that's progress, but I just, I don't know, he's still in pretty bad shape and I, I wonder if I'm gonna be able to pull him out of this. He actually did urinate, which is good, and that tells me that he is getting, you know, something to eat at least. I know probably in the footage it looks like a lot of spilling out, and and he's definitely spilling some. There's no doubt about it. But with every suck, I can hear bubbles going back into the bottle. So I know that I know that he's getting some, and now to see him urinate, that just reinforces that. Today is actually a beautiful day. Uh, being cold is not an issue today, nor will it be for the next three or four days, I think. We're going to have, uh, you know, our lows are only going to be like in the 50s. So it's going to be, you know, pretty good conditions, uh, about as good as he could ask for for this time of year. It's been a few days since that footage was shot. I'm still working with this guy. He hasn't expired on me just yet. Uh, right now as I'm filming this, it is March 4th, I believe, Thursday night. And unfortunately... The only time I'm able to film with this guy, it's dark because in the morning before I go to work, it's dark. And by the time I get home and get to feeding him, it's dark again. So I uh, apologize for the, the poorly lit footage, but we're doing the best that we can here. The little calf has made progress in the last couple of days, but he's also shown me a few signs that have me pretty worried about him. So uh, let's go in and get him going with his bottle tonight. And we'll talk a little bit about where he's at. The, the amount of food intake is, is up a bit, but he's still not, you know, I still got to hold his chin. I still, he, he still kind of acts like an inexperienced nurser, although he does, he sucks pretty good once he gets going. And like I say, he will down most of this bottle in one sitting.
I also think that his overall look is better. His ears are perkier. His eyes are a little bit brighter. Um, but I, I do pretty firmly believe that he is about as blind as he can be. He, his eyes are very white. They're very cloudy looking and they don't look like normal eyes like the way that they should look. So that, that kind of further supports the idea that he doesn't see very well. And when he does stand up in here, it's not uncommon to just walk, watch him sort of walk circles in the trailer and just kind of walk right into the walls. Um, he doesn't show any indication that he sees them coming. So I really don't think that he sees well, if at all. I started him off with powdered colostrum, which I know is not as good as mother's colostrum, but when it's all you have, that's about the best you can do. And I started mixing Redmond electrolytes in with that, and that actually really did seem to help. That helped a lot with his appetite, I thought. He, after I gave him the electrolytes, he started consuming a lot more. I've tried the, the coffee trick. I mixed some coffee in with one of his bottles. I thought that that increased his, his rate of breathing, but it didn't really seem to, to give him a lot more energy, I didn't think. I, I wasn't in this case uh, anyway. I don't think that really helped all that much. I gave him a shot of LA200, and I feel like I've kind of tried throwing a little bit of everything at him. And he is getting better in some ways, but he's not getting as good as I was hoping by this point. So I think that he'll he'll keep going. We've at least reached the point where when I come out here to check on him, I'm relatively sure he'll be alive. So that's that's a pretty big step. I'm still just kind of feeding him twice a day and hoping that he'll he'll make progress. If we've hit the plateau now and this is as good as he's going to get, then like I say, we'll be having to make some decisions. But for now, I'll give him a few more days and see where we can get. The more I think about it, the more I think that this calf probably got stepped on or kicked or suffered some sort of trauma like that. And that, that could be working in conjunction with um, what, it, what is known as weak calf syndrome. And that's, you know, basically what that is, is all the symptoms that he's displaying and it's caused by numerous different things. Uh, among those could be poor nutrition of the cow. I doubt that was it because if that were the case, then I, I think we'd be having this issue pop up more often over there. Um, but one of the other things that causes it is dystocia, and that, that's just a fancy word for uh, calving difficulty. And the way that that works is if the mother takes too long to have the calf and he's deprived of oxygen, then it can, it can trigger symptoms like this. So this cow did take longer than I kind of thought that she should take. He's a good-sized calf. Shoot, he could have been born backwards, something like that, that would have slowed that labor process down and, and brought this on. I'm doing the best that I can do for him, and we can't save them all, but we can try. Keep you guys posted on the outcome of this little guy. I, I'm just gonna tell you right now, I have a feeling it's probably not gonna be a good one, but that's not gonna keep me from trying. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys, and I hope I'll see you again on Farmer Tyler Ranch.